I don't know, I have no words. Look at it. Look at it, how beautiful is it? Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tampas with you today, guys. We're gonna be reviewing something unbelievable. And you'll understand why I'm saying that in a couple of seconds. So basically, guys, this vehicle is so enormous that, that, and I just couldn't go by and not review this vehicle, guys. This is Caterpillar, an amazing, amazing forklift, if you can call it. So I would, I would personally call it a spaceship. Anyways, guys, um, it, is so <laughs> it is so enormous that uh, this particular vehicle can... I carry another vehicle and in our case that's gonna be our uh, standard man truck oh my gosh when I was able to do that I was I was like I was speechless because first of all it started as a joke I was like is, is this this thing is so huge am I am I gonna be able to uh, <laughs> pick up anything so yeah I was able to pick up our truck amazing so let us start by looking at this vehicle's price. <laughs> Look at it. It's one million seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Uh, this is just enormous price for the forklifter. Uh, the maintenance per day is also one thousand bucks. This is just incredible. Uh, so why are we gonna pay uh, this much for our forklifter? You may ask, guys. And uh, that's what I was wondering as well. The main thing we are all interested in is the capacity of the front, front um, frontal fork here. Uh, the bucket itself is very interesting. I'm not sure how much this fork is going to be capable to carry, but I guess that's going to be a, a lot. As you can see, the whole truck feels comfortable in there. It's just uh, sleeping there and uh, feeling all cozy. So yeah, we, right now I'm waiting for my silo to be fully fermented and we are at 80% now so it shouldn't take us long and yes let's just start so uh, let's uh, take a look at its um, uh, exterior here exterior is very poorly made that's not why I've decided to review this mod the only reason I've decided to review it is its size obviously look at that guys whenever you approach it and press E here you have your own um, cabin here that's decently made I wouldn't say it's super bad um, it could have been much better so yeah, well, I, I am hoping the creator of this mod is gonna pay a little bit more attention to details and uh, just finish this mod off because I really like it. I think that uh, vehicles like this should be in our game. Whenever you exit the vehicle, whenever you press exit button, you have your own balcony here. Look at that guys, we have our own uh, platform and you can walk around your vehicle. How awesome is that? This is not a... This is not a this is, oh my gosh, this is not an ordinary forklifter, I'd say. This is a spaceship. Definitely. Oh my gosh, even though you can see it has glitches and uh, some transparent places where you just fall off. However, it doesn't uh, suck a lot. This mod, I really like it. And the main question for today would be just how much is it, capa is it capable to carry? So let's go ahead and uh, drop our truck. Uh, let's go ahead and try to... Oh my gosh, leave it somewhere safe. And another question would be if we are able to uh, carry it. Oh my gosh, look at that guys, this is enormous. Oh my gosh, and by the way, engine of our truck is still working, you can hear it maybe, I don't know. It is on, it is trying to survive. I'll place you right here mate, I hope you won't be against it. I'll try to place you as careful as I can. OMG, come on, come on, whoops, uh, here you go, here you go mate, come on, just like that, now let's back off a bit, back off, come on, let me go now, let me go truck, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Anyways, I managed to finish it off. Nice. Look at that. Even our driver is a bit different. He's all fancy in there. Sitting, controlling the spaceship. Okay, now. The moment of truth. The main question is for us to pick up a bit of uh, silage here and sell it over there. 
So yeah, if you remember guys, I had a video where I showed you how you can automate this process with a smaller forklifter. In this case, we don't need any course play. At least I hope so. We're gonna try to, uh, oh my gosh. We're gonna try, look at that. We've got a different view for our fork, by the way, here. And yeah, we're gonna try to load as much uh, silage as we can, just to see if automation is necessary, even though I predict we won't be needing much here. It's just incredibly huge. Let's go, come on. Go ahead and, oh my gosh, I need to adjust it a bit. A little bit better here. Sure. Come on. Oh my gosh, my mouth. My mouth is glitching at the moment. I don't know what to do with it. Come on, mouth, work. This is not a moment. This is not your moment. This is our caterpillar's moment. Come on. Let's try and uh, fit as much silage as we can. Look at that number, guys. Look, at it's already three times more than we can usually pick up. Oh my gosh, what is happening now? Come on. Don't don't glitch on me. Don't glitch on me. Don't glitch on me. Okay, we need to be a bit more careful now. Let's try and approach it from another side. Just like that. Okay, now I can try it again. A little bit... Uh, a little bit... Yeah, my mouse is officially broken. Don't know what to do with it. Anyways, let's go. Try once more. We can fit it. We can fit in. All here. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. 52,000. Capacity is 52,000. Almost as much as uh, some of our biggest tippers. I cannot believe it, guys. You don't need uh, course play for this, definitely. You don't need to automate this process. With this particular forklifter, I think there is not enough fields for... Uh, I don't think there is enough fields in here to be able to produce so much silage just to uh, make this big bad boy here uh, busy all the time. Okay, now, uh, the last thing we need to do is unload. And let's see how well animation works and stuff, how well everything is working out. Come on. Whoa, whoa, doesn't look very realistic though. Look at that, 20,000, 20, so you're only able to unload like uh, one third of a bucket at the time at, at a time in case you are playing on the real time uh, here so let's just increase our time here till 15 and then it's gonna decrease just like that even a bit faster so you need to play at 120 here to be able to unload it fast look at that oh my gosh so much money incredible so yeah <laughs> we were able to unload the fork here and what can I say about this mod I really like it even though it is poorly made uh, it is awesome at the same time I mean it is not poorly made of course it is nicely made but amount of details just uh, could have been a bit better anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this review I personally was very excited about this mod whenever I saw it I've decided to show it to you as well maybe some of you haven't seen it I personally was amazed uh, when I was able to pick up my truck here. Look at the size. Let's compare them together. It's just incredible. Incredible. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my gosh. This is like twice smaller than one wheel of our caterpillar here. Oh my gosh. Incredible. I, I just, I don't know. I have no words. Look at it. Look at it. How beautiful is it? OMG. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below if you did. If you want to see more of this in the future, some unusual mods, because I really enjoyed it. And I think that mods like this, I'll repeat myself, mods like this should exist in the game. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Dislike if you dislike this video. Let me know why you disliked it so I could improve. And leave like there is no tomorrow, guys. Bye-bye. You won't believe me, guys. But this is the third time I'm recording it. Because I don't know why my software is failing me like crazy. So I'll try to quickly summarize what's happening here. As you can see, I've attached the plow to my tractor. And uh, I've been trying to assess the performance of it, of it. And as you can see, it is drifting like crazy here. Uh, you can also...